Hi, this is Andrew from LaptopReviews.com, and I'm here with the Lenovo IdeaPad Y580. Um, it's a new uh, gaming laptop from Lenovo. It's kind of a budget gaming laptop, as uh, you'll see here as I zoom in on the Y580 product page. Uh, its starting price is uh, $949. Um, so that's a really good price for the specs you get, which is uh, an Intel Core i7, uh, that's the Ivy Bridge generation, the latest, um, NVIDIA GTX 660 graphics, which is a, a great graphics card. It'll certainly uh, allow you to play any of the latest games on it. And uh, you get eight gigabit bytes of RAM and a standard uh, kind of hard drive. There's, uh, as of right now, no SSD option, but you can, of course, put an SSD in yourself or use an MTAT SSD if you want to uh, upgrade uh, using that approach. Um, so just gonna give a quick tour of the Y580 here. Uh, first of all, stand up and take a look at the keyboard. Um, it does have a backlight on it, so if I actually go turn off the lights, I can demonstrate that, which requires me to take a few steps off to the right here. Um, so as we're plunged into darkness, the way you turn on the backlight for the keyboard is you just hold down on the FN key and then hit spacebar and it toggles it on and you hold down on FN again to toggle it off. There's just one setting so it's either on or off. There's no um, low brightness or high brightness or what have you. It's just one on or off. Okay, now let's take a tour around the sides of the Y580 so we can see what ports we get here. So on the left side you have the uh, VJ monitor out, Ethernet jack, um, HDMI, and then a couple of USB 3.0 ports. Uh, over here you'll also see there's the heat vent. It's rather giant. Uh, it's a little hard to see since it's so dark there, but you can see the copper inside. Um, that's for the heat sink. Uh, so over here, on the right side we have uh, a media card slot and it has like a little dummy card in there that uh, you can put back in. Well, kind of chintzy plastic, but um, you know, what do you want? It's, you can just leave it empty anyway. Um, over on the right side, we have our um, headphone and microphone port here, and then another USB 3.0 port. Then this is the tray loading optical drive. Uh, in our case, is a DVD burner. You can, I believe, upgrade it to Blu-ray. Um, and then just a regular USB 2.0 port. And then over here is the power jack. Um, on top, we have a few media keys. So this is just a mid uh, mute sound. Um, this is a uh, launch a media app. And then the power button is over here. And then over here is the one touch recovery. So if you need to restore the system to a previous state, uh, you can easily do that just by touching the button. Uh, you'll see over here there's a JBL speaker. And again, on the top right side. So you've got your speakers here on the top uh, left and right side of the keyboard. Um, you do have a webcam here integrated at the top as well. Uh, you'll probably notice the screen I have on this model is the standard 30, 1366 by 768. It is not full HD. That's just what Lenovo calls HD. Uh, the full HD screen, uh, 1920 by 1080, is um, optional upgrade, and I think uh, you know a number of people will go for that. Uh, it will be nice for watching movies or just you know fitting more on the screen. But it does increase the price by a couple hundred dollars. So just an FYI. Um, as far as design goes, a uh, nice brush metal finish, just like the Y480 we reviewed earlier. And if we close down the lid, you'll see, again, the brush metal finish with Lenovo Insignia. There's no lighting or anything fancy going on there. So if you stay tuned to LaptopReviews.com, we'll have a full review of the Y580 coming up soon.